This tutorial is all about fertilizers and why they are important. As you can see from this diagram, certain countries, particularly those which are the developing countries, have increased their use of fertilizers over recent years. And in fact, as we can see, developing countries have increased their consumption quite markedly. And we're going to look at the reasons for that. Fertilizers are used by farmers to increase crop growth. Uh, they've got to be water soluble because they've got to be uh, taken up by the roots of the plant. Two bags of fertilizer here. The one on the left is for domestic use and it has this uh, three figure uh, number on the bottom. This refers to nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, NPK. And the values there are the percentages by weight of each of those elements within the bag of fertilizer. On the right we have the chemical formula here for ammonium nitrate telling us it's 99.5 percent ammonium nitrate, good source of nitrogen there with only a very very small amount of water in the mixture. Um, presumably we want it as dry as possible so that it won't uh, clump together um, when it's being spread. Although the vast majority of fertilizers are sold as solid, as crystals, they have to be water soluble because they must enter the plant through the root hairs. Um, this happens by a process called osmosis that no doubt you'll have learned about in biology. You can see from these two pictures the effect of using fertilizer both on a lawn and also on these crops. The fertilizer makes the grass grow much greener and much lusher and it makes the crops grow much larger. It increases the yield of the crops by providing the essential elements for growth. Fertilizers are needed because when a piece of ground has been used for growing crops for a number of years, the crops use up the nutrients in the soil. These have to be replaced. They could be replaced organically using um, manure or slurry, but it's much easier and, I have to say, much more financially viable to provide these using fertilizers from bags. Because fertilizers increase the crop yield and particularly it's the nitrogen in the fertilizers which increase the growth of the plants because they're used by the plants to make protein molecules. Here's a past paper question. Fertilizers contain one or more of the three essential elements. These elements are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Dylan puts the ammonium nitrate fertilizer on his fields to increase the crop yield. Explain how the use of this fertilizer increases crop yield. Well, two marks here. One mark will be saying that the ammonium nitrate fertilizer contains nitrogen in the form of nitrates crops use nitrogen to make proteins for growth Here's the mark scheme and you can see that there are three possible uh, marks that you could have got. Uh, one of them is that the fertilizer provides nitrogen, secondly that it is used to make protein and thirdly that the protein is used for growth. The last part of this section and here's the specification to have a look at uh, is covering what are the advantages and disadvantages of using fertilizer. Um, and also particularly about the process of eutrophication which occurs when too much fertilizer is added to the soil. These pictures show one of the effects of adding too much fertilizer. It's called algal bloom and this occurs on places like lakes or rivers 
where fertilizer has been washed into the lake. And we're now going to look at what are the processes which cause this and why it can kill aquatic life. There are various reasons why nutrients can get into rivers or other waterways like lakes and one of those reasons is when fertilizer is spread over land too much is used or that there is a cloudburst and some of that washes into the nearby waterways. Now the upshot of that is that the plants in the river and particularly the algae which grow on the surface of the water um, multiply considerably. The algae form a bloom on the surface of the water and that cuts out light. Light can no longer get to the plants at the uh, riverbed. These then die and also some of the algae dies and as these are uh, decomposing they're uh, eaten up by bacteria which are aerobic bacteria. Aerobic bacteria use up oxygen. They get that oxygen out of the water itself. So the oxygen levels in the water drop to near zero and that means that aquatic life, in other words uh, fish and other animals that live in the water, can no longer respire and they die. A common error made by students is that uh, they relate the increased use of the fertilizers to the killing of the fish and believe that the fertilizer in the water poisons the fish but this isn't the case. It's the nitrates and phosphates which make the algae grow. They stop the plants at the bottom from photosynthesizing. They die. Some of the algae also dies. Those are decomposed by microorganisms, bacteria that use up oxygen, they're aerobic ones and therefore there's no oxygen in the water and therefore the fish die. This whole process is called eutrophication. Here's a question about fertilizers. Ammonia is used to make fertilizers. Why do farmers use fertilizers? They use it to increase crop growth and yield. And most fertilizers are added to soil as small lumps. What must happen to the fertilizer before it's absorbed by the plant? It must dissolve. Here's another question. Natalie also finds out that there are problems when farmers use too much fertilizer. One problem is called eutrophication. Write about eutrophication. Your answer should include how it happens and the effect of eutrophication. Or you might say that uh, farmers spread fertilizer and some washes into lakes and streams. Algae grow at the surface, blocking light to plants on the bed. These and some algae die and are consumed by aerobic bacteria. These use up oxygen in the water and aquatic animals cannot respire and so die.